Hi, this is Bob from Turbot. If you're looking for a quick demo of Turbot Guardrails features, you're in the right spot. In this video, we're going to show how you can use Turbot Guardrails to evaluate AWS CIS benchmarks in real time. One of the benefits of using Guardrails to assess CIS is that it instantly evaluates any changes that are happening in your environment. So whether there's a new resource or an updated resource, CIS recommendations will immediately be assessed and then alerted to your team members if there's any recommendations not being adhered to. To visualize that in your console, you would have the CIS mod already uh, installed and the policy set, and then you can view all of your controls. And so you can view your controls by resource types, uh, just like other guardrails that you've seen in other videos. In this case, you can view the controls from a CIS benchmark. Here is the CIS benchmark in its major sections, one through five, and you can instantly see how you're adhering in real time. You can drill into each section. So here I'm drilling into section two and then further to section two one, which is about uh, AWS S3 buckets. For this demo, we're just gonna focus on section two one four, uh, which is around ensuring that public access block settings are set. Within the reporting here, you can go all the way down to the S3 bucket and see whether or not it's adhering to that particular recommendations. Similar to other Turbot guardrail policies, uh, you can enable these uh, controls per resource. And so in this case, I have these enabled across all of my resources and it's, and it's evaluating these ACME demo buckets. But if I want to make an exception to the rule where maybe this policy does not apply to ACME demo five, I can go into the policies and specifically for this particular bucket, I can change the inheritance of it being evaluated in this case, skipping the policy on this particular bucket. So now this policy is skipped. And then if I go back, I'll see now that this particular bucket on this particular recommendation is no longer being evaluated. And now I can see that within the reporting here that Acme demo is skipped where the rest are being assessed. In these cases, these are in alarms, these are in okay state. Guardrails will evaluate any changes to these buckets. So if I go and create a new bucket, we'll instantly see this part of the reporting list here. So if I go into Amazon S3, go and create a bucket. So here I'll create an Acme demo six bucket. The default is actually to block all these configurations, but as, as we know from uh, general uses, these configurations can change. One can set this when they create a bucket accidentally or intentionally uh, with the wrong configurations, or as the bucket is running, configurations can change over time. So here we have a bucket created. So this Acme demo six, and within that, we can clearly see that the block all public access is set to off. Guardrails will instantly detect this new bucket. It will evaluate its controls and this being the CIS 2.0 1.4. And so we can already see this are already evaluated here. The Acme demo six bucket popped up within seconds, and now it's showing that the re recommendation is not met. Now, all of these are notifications within the Guardrails product, which you can visualize here. You can report on in our reporting tabs. You can query this information out, and you can also notify it out to email, to Slack, to Teams, or to other endpoints. So in this example, this new recommendation not being met alarm this is already sent to my Slack channel, and it's show, showing here that my Acme Demo 6 bucket is no longer adhering uh, to that recommendation. Now, when you get these alerts, you can also take action on them. And so similar to other guardrails, you can enforce configurations, but you can also take quick actions uh, within the console or through the API. If I go to the, the bucket here, and I go to my controls, you know, there's many controls in this demo, I have, I have all of them skipped, but I can go to these individual controls and can take action on them. So for example, uh, the public access block control here, I can take a quick action to you know, disable those public access block settings or I can enable all of them. In this case, if I enable all of them, that's then going to then take the action here. So there it showed a success and it's gonna run that on the bucket itself. And I could see that activity here. I updated the public access block settings and what that did was it caused uh, then the bucket to be updated by Turbot. And so here it changed those two false settings to now true. And now the CIS recommendation moved from alarm to now no case state. So these are just some examples that you can do. You can also put this into a continuous enforcement 
uh, which we have other videos that you can watch on how to set those uh, configurations to continuously enforce CIS compliance. Um, you can also uh, do the very similar features with Azure and Google Cloud as well. If you have any questions uh, or you're interested in getting started, please reach out to us at turbot.com start. Thank you.